A tag is a class file. You write the Java code and compile it. It's customary to put Java classes in a package, and as usual, the name of the package is the name of the set of directories that hold the class file. The package name begins with com, and then has the name VTC. You can actually use any package name you like, just make up something. I kind of like this one because it's really short and it's easy to type. Here are the files for this one tag handler. Let me start with the Java code itself. The first thing to do is specify the package for this class. And there are groups of classes that need to be imported. You'll see them being used in this example and in the examples in the following lessons. This tag handler extends the class tag support. This class provides all the basic functions necessary and provides some objects that will be needed. The do start tag method is called to output the actual HTML to the page. This method is called to return the JSP writer object that's used to write to the page. A call is made to PrintLine to output a single line of HTML code to the page being produced. This is all done inside a try-catch block because any output operation can throw an exception. After the output is done, a return of skip body indicates a successful action and nothing else needs to be done. Now, as I said, this is a very simple tag, and there's nothing else to be done in this code. But the tag handler must be compiled into a class file before it's deployed to the server. Some of the classes used are specific to J2EE, and that's why I have this compile script. There's nothing tricky here. It's just a class path option that points to the J2EE jar file. It uses some of the content of that jar file to compile howdy.java into howdy.class. And that's it. The files are now ready to be deployed. Just like all the other JSP programs, it's a matter now of creating a war file. But this one will also contain the tag handler and the tag library definition. Start off by naming the war file. Then we need to create the war file containing the parts, beginning, of course, with the Java server page. Then you add the tag library definition, and you add the entire com domain. This will bring everything in the directory tree into the war file. Some of the stuff isn't needed, such as the compile script and the source code. And if you have a huge library system, you may want to create separate working directories so you can leave that sort of stuff out. Then, as usual, it's a matter of saving it all, then deploying the war file. And it's done. And this is what the page looks like. This is a very simple page with a very simple tag. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you a tag library with a few more complications.